Alright, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video. And in today's video, um, I'm basically making a part 2 to my PvP tips video. Because in that video, I said that I was going to upload a guide or um, basically a tier list of the best equipment to place on your child. So I have a, um, a guide made by Jinx, the one who posts a bunch of the... Um, world boss guides, ranked and break guides, and such on Reddit, and they also post in the um, Destiny Child Global Discord. So yeah, I just want to say thank you to making this for making this guide and all of the other guides, and I'll be sure to link this in the description, and also a link to the Reddit post and the um, Destiny Child Global Discord, so you can join in there and see all of the other guides that they post as well. But yeah, um, you see on the screen right now. I'm just showing you guys all of my equipment that I have on my child. Um, you see, I have my PvP child here, and just more of the um, like all around child, such as Nubi Mona and such. And we'll be switching to my desktop real quick to show you guys the tier list, and I'll explain um, the best to um, average equipment. So, yeah, I'll show you, I'll switch right now. And you guys can see here, this is the um, guide that Jinx made, and they posted it only a few days ago. I think it was made on, it was edited last on the 17th of May, so not too long ago, about three days ago from filming this video. So yeah, it's pretty updated and it's updated from the um, the World On narrative event, which you can see some of her equipment on here that you obtained from narr the narrative dungeon. So yeah, we'll get into it real quick. This shouldn't be too long of a video so you guys can see which of the equipment is the best so yeah let's get right into it this is the armor side right here on the left top left so we see here the balance it goes from best to good so on the balance side we have enamel suit first and then we have the um, alchemist spectacles followed by the um, flower veil so any of these are good if you have any of these that's a or maybe b um, i would consider upgrading these to plus 15 and putting them on your child depending on which um, attribute you guys are suffering from. So just look at your child and see what they're lacking. And um, any of these equipment will be optimal on them. And then next we have the HP focused um, armors. So we have the Alchemist Gloves, Dana's Mitter, followed by the um, the average ones, which are the, um, the equals to the Dana's Mitter. We have red dress here at the top, palace cloak, and the rage cap. And then at the bottom here, we have the wedding dress. So it goes from top to bottom, and the Dana's Mitter is equal to these three, as like I said. Next, we have weapons, which um, we have attack and HP here. We only have one on the um, tier list because I think this is the only one at the five star. So we have the spear of divine punishment and this is the only one you can see here and we have attack and critical now which is the next column and we have the flask the double void camera which is equal to the demeter syringe and dana's baculus next we have the cute broom and the fake scimitar the next category is attack slash agility and we have the um, fashion and mic at the top, followed by the round bouquet, which is equal to the steel rose and palace spear. And lastly, we have the halberd here. The next, at the bottom here, we have the accessories, which are pretty important as well. Um, we have the attack slash HP category, which only features the alchemy kit as of now. Next, we have the attack and critical category which features the high-res headphones, followed by the Vampire Exorcism Kit, which is equal to the Glass Rosary. Next, we have the Attack slash Agility category, which features the Ribbon Headband, which is equal to the Rage Patch and Dana's Pendant, followed by the Pyramid Totem at the bottom. And the last category we have here is HP and Defense, which features the knight ornament at top, at the top, and then followed by the motorcycle helmet and the rosary of skulls, which is equal to the ro 
to the motorcycle helmet. So yeah guys, this is the um, basically high, um, best equipment you can have in the game from best to um, average. And if you have any of these and you can uh, afford to upgrade them, if you have them at A, I would definitely upgrade them and try and keep them on your child either for um, Devil Rumble like I was saying before in the last video, um, Rack and the Break and World Boss because equipment does matter a lot in the World Boss. Um, next I just want to go over the notes that Jinx put here and so you guys understand more about the equipment as this is sort of a beginner's guide. So let me just go to the side here. We have the first note that they put AGL stat affects hit slash dodge rate for attacks and also slightly affects slide and drive damage. AGL does not affect debuffs, both evasion and application. Second, keep A to B grade of weapons shown here. Varied equipment levels helps with stat manip. Three, crit items priority increase during world boss and Ragnar break events. Crit stat only for crit rate. Fourth here, we have anything not listed here are mainly used for stat manipulation. Fifth of all, uh, focus on highest A rank weapon and armor before you buy any accessories from the Devil for Rumble shop. So this basically tells you um, what I forgot to say in the last video talking about Devil Rumble. Prioritize the weapons and armor before you buy accessories from the Rumble shop because they are all the same price of 400,000. Uh, Devil Rumble coins and last of all we have here small icons beside equipment have near identical stats a good alternative so um, These alternatives on the side are basically okay and substitute the the main one here Next we have accessory fodder and farming stages So you can level up these equipments because they do take a while to level up if you don't have fodder But these stages here you can get some decent um, accessories equipment Accessories, armor, and weapons. So we have chapter 2, 3, 3, 2, good experience, accessory, and 3 star materials farm. We have chapter 2, 2, 4, 4, great experience, and 2 star childs, and 3 star fire mats. Chapter 2, 2, 2, 3, and 3, 2, 3 are the only stages to drop 4 star armor. We have chapter 1, 7, 8, 4, good experience and 2 star childs, 6, 2, 3, and all of those stages, um, low stamina usage. So yeah guys, I just wanted to go over these equipments really quick. Um, I know it's not too long of a video because there isn't really much to talk about, but if you do lack any of the stats, make sure to focus on um, whatever category that you need. So we have balance tier, HP focus attack slash HP, attack and crit, attack and agility, and HP and defense. So yeah, I'll be sure to link this in the description below so you guys can see this on your own time and so you can see what's the best while you're trying to level up your equipment and stuff in game. So yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video where I'll be talking about soul cards um, more in depth and just showing you guys the tier list that if I could find one on these soul cards for PvP and such. So yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video. I hope this helped you out. And please comment below if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys later.